What's up Hot Wheelers? Today we've got the 8 car set, the Hot Wheels BMW 8 car set. And uh, this is a special edition set that was released by Hot Wheels and we're going to do a full unbox review and then we're going to race these down the track and we're going to see which one's the fastest, although it might be a bit difficult because we do have a BMW motorbike included. So uh, we'll see what to do with that one. But in the meantime, let's set them aside and we'll go through them one by one and so you guys can get a closer look at what they look like. All right, first one we have is the BMW M3 and this is your E90, I believe would be M3. Um, you giant BMW fans can correct me on the exact one, but there it is. And uh, I'll show you the back of this one since uh, it's all the same on the rest of them. So it shows all the eight car set for BMW. Awesome, some sponsors from it as well. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, we'll open this one up. All right, and uh, I was just gonna think, does the, do these ones have those rubber wheels, but they don't? Um, but uh, still, it's very nice, high quality. Uh, these wheels are a bit different from the standard ones from what I've seen. And there you go, there's the front of it. The nice M3. And what is this like Hot Wheels logo on the side as well? I wonder if that's a standard thing through all the cars. We'll, we'll take a closer look at all of them and see. That dual exhaust and black bottom. All right, so the M3 we'll put down there. And next we'll go to is a BMW 2002. The old classic BMW. All right, let's get a closer look at this one. And interesting color for this one to say. It's got kind of like a lime green wheels on it. That kind of cool front end on it. Number two. And what does this say? Is this like Goodyear or something? And it does have that Hot Wheels logo on there, similar to the previous one. Kind of cool back to it as well. All right, that's your BMW 2002. Next up we have uh, the BMW E36 M3 race car. E36, so it's got the 36 on there. Let's open that one up. And this one got lots of sponsors and stuff on the side. Toyo tires, those big chrome wheels. Very cool. I like the markings on it. Uh, it does have a Hot Wheels logo, there you go. So it does seem to be a trend. That big wing on it. All right, put that one down. Um, next we've got the BMW M1. BMW's attempt at a supercar and it was a pretty good attempt, I would say. These are becoming more collector's items in real life. Get this one out. Nice close look at that. Cool colorway on it. Big wheels. It's like a modernized version. There's that Hot Wheels logo. Look at that paint job on there. Crazy. Chrome wheels. All right. BMW M1. That one looks good. Uh, next up, we've got the BMW M3 GT2. So it's like a race car. GT2 car, obviously. And it's got the, the ground effects kit on there, the big uh, wing on there, M Power, Hot Wheels logo on the back, of course. Look at how big that wing is. It's wider than the vehicle itself. Big fat tires. Number 12, M Power. I like the color of this one, looks cool. Should be fun to see down the track. 
All right, next up we've got is the BMW Z4M. Cool graphics. Let's open this one up and get a closer look. And this one seems to have like a matte type finish on it, like a gray matte paint job. I think it's suiting. 04, big wing, look at that wing on there, just like the uh, M3 GT2. Z4 is a cool car. This is more like the Z4 Coupe. It's like an M Coupe, even though it didn't specify that. Big ground effects on it. It's more, it's more like a GT2 type car. Coupe GT2. <laughs> I'm just throwing things at this car of what what they said is they they say it's just the uh, what did they say it was here? Let's get the package. Z4M. That's all they say about it. They don't specify coupe, convertible, anything like that. Cool looking car though. Do like it. Okay. Next up, we've got a BMW M3, and this is like the E30, I believe it would be. Doesn't specify it, but I believe it is. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Let's open it up. Look at that. The nice M colored graphics on the side and the hood. And does this one have a Hot Wheels logo? Oh yeah, it does right on the back right there. I thought maybe there was one without it. The nice white color cool back on it. Black wheels with the white walls. Perfect looking. All right, last but not least, we've got the BMW K1300R motorbike as part of the BMW series. So let's open it up. I don't buy a lot of motorbikes when it comes to Hot Wheels just because they don't really go down the track, they're kind of just for show. Um, they do look cool, they make good good, uh, good looking ones, very accurate to real life. I don't know if this is a 1 in 64 scale, that's probably a little bigger because if you compare the motorbike next to the an actual car, it's like the same length, in real life that's not the case. Um, so I don't know what scale it is, you guys maybe post in the comments below what scale you think this bike is. Um, looks cool, not a lot to show. It's black with the chrome gas tank on there. Looks cool, but I don't know. I don't think we're gonna be putting it down the track. We'll see. I'll stand it up in the lane and we'll see what happens. You never know. All right, uh, so those are your eight BMWs. Pull them all up here side by side. We'll lean the bike along the side right here. Uh, so those are your eight. Uh, let's head right to the track and we'll see how fast these go down and we'll see which one's the fastest. Head to the track, right? All right guys, we're at the track now and I picked out four cars that we're gonna do um, for our first race and we'll pick the top two winners in this race and the top two winners from that race. Um, the motorbike, we are putting down the track. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna make it the whole way, but hey, we're gonna try. I don't even know if it's gonna make it past the finish or the starting grid, but we'll give it a shot. Anyways, we've got these four cars and they are all set and ready to roll. I'm just gonna get the cameras all set, cars all staged, and we'll be ready to roll for race number one. All right, race number one. On your mark, get set, go. All right, guys, I honestly did not even look at my track to see if my track was clear. And I have all the Bugatti Veyrons still on the track and the BMW smashed into them. Uh, those two were left in the center because uh, they, they didn't get touched because there's no cars in that lane. But these ones all got pushed right through. So uh, obviously it wasn't a fair race. Uh, the finish line video looked pretty cool though, how they kind of got pushed all the way ahead. Uh, anyways. Uh, we're gonna redo that so we'll clear the Bugattis out of the way and we'll do a proper race All right, right here. guys the actual race number one. We are finally set the track is Actually all cleared now. We are ready to go on your mark get set go
All right, guys, race one, your actual winners were the two M3s, the uh, BMW M3 and the M3 GTR. Uh, the silver M3 was your winner, but it's gonna go to the final. So we've got all the car set up and the motorbike set up and ready to go. So we'll see if the motorbike can finish down the track and you never know if it can maybe pull out a win. You just don't know. All right, tracks all set, cars all stage, we're ready to go, on your mark. Get set, go! All right, guys, we got the four final cars. That motorbike did not even make it to the finish line. I mean, who are we kidding? We knew it wasn't gonna make it to the finish line. Uh, but we've got uh, three M3s and the Z4M is our final cars. So we are all set. Track is all staged. The final race winner takes all for the BMW series. Here we go, on your mark. Get set, go! And there you have it guys, the BMW M3 GTR is your fastest BMW from all the Hot Wheels BMWs. It was a great race. Uh, this one did have an interesting first race um, and it was a good race overall. That motorbike, we know it didn't have a chance whatsoever, but it was still a very interesting series. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Throw this video a like if you appreciate me doing these videos. I buy a lot of Hot Wheels now and open them up just for you guys to see go down the track and get some close-up reviews of them. So throw a like if you appreciate my videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one.